I am Dr. Shiran Shetty, Professor, Department of Gastroenterology, Kasturba Medical College, Manipal. Today, we are going to discuss an important topic, fatty liver disease and cirrhosis. Fatty liver disease is any excess accumulation of fat in our organ liver that becomes fatty liver disease. Liver is a very important organ which helps in digestion, storage and also in filtering our toxins. So when excess accumulation of fat occurs, it leads to long-term fatty liver disease which can turn into cirrhosis of liver. There was a concern that any liver disease is always related to alcohol intake. But we are seeing now people who don't consume alcohol also develop chronic liver disease or cirrhosis because of an entity called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. There are many causes for fatty liver disease. So if you divide, we can broadly divide into two types. One is the alcohol related fatty liver disease where you take people consume excess alcohol. The other one is people don't consume alcohol and still they develop liver disease is called as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So these are the causes like people having diabetes, overweight or obesity, people have metabolic syndrome, then something disease like endocrine disease like hypothyroidism and unnecessary intake of excess medications without the advice of a doctor can also long term lead fatty liver disease. Knowing the etiology, let us see what are the reasons. Mainly it is the lifestyle we call as lifestyle disease. If you look at India, two decades back there was undernutrition in our country. Now we are in a phase of overnutrition. So food is easily available. We consume excess energy calories. So lack of exercise, very poor diet practice excess taking of junk food and unhealthy food is one of the reason for increased incidence of fatty liver disease. What are the symptoms people suffer from fatty liver disease? So we know that initial stage of fatty liver disease is silent. We might not have any symptoms but if you know that you are putting on more weight, you have a very unhealthy lifestyle, your eating habits are bad, you have to have a check on that because this is the one initial phase of fatty liver disease where we can prevent it from further progressing into cirrhosis. When you have significant amount of enlarged liver and what symptoms like abdominal pain, heaviness, then some digestive problem will have. Just to give a practical tips or to say about the symptoms that is leg swelling, like you have significant amount of swelling of the legs, yellowish coloration that you called as jaundice, then abdominal swelling, accumulation of water in the abdomen. These are all the signs of cirrhosis of liver. The good point is early stage of fatty liver is fully reversible. But once the fatty liver disease becomes cirrhosis, then it becomes irreversible. So the importance is identifying and also reversing it. So how do you identify fatty liver disease? If people have symptoms, they go to a doctor. Otherwise, you go to a health check, you are examined by a doctor, then you have an ultrasound, simple scans on you done and also a simple biochemical test, what you call blood test, that is liver function test, which tells us that patient has fatty liver disease. Now, newer technologies, new investigations called like non-invasive tests called fibro scan. So these scans are available in most of the hospitals. What they do, they just measure your hardness of liver, what you call the stiffness of liver and which tells that what state stages of fatty liver disease the patient is from. So simple test called as fibro scan which can be done on an OPD basis. Now knowing this diagnosis how do you prevent it? As I mentioned this is a disease of lifestyle so we need to change our lifestyle. If you have an unhealthy lifestyle you need to change or modify lifestyle like a good sleep, adequate exercise, a very healthy diet, an appropriate proportion of carbohydrates, proteins and fat and a micronutrients are a must and a adequate exercise a burning adequate calories is important day to day at least 30 to 45 minutes of physical activity is a must for all the people who have fatty liver disease so if you have this you don't require any medications then the second stage is if your biochemical parameters are abnormal and your fibro scan shows a stiffness then the doctors will prescribe you some simple medications which can be taken and actually then we can follow up the patients in an outpatient clinic. Then the last part is if you already have cirrhosis because of fatty liver disease, you have to be more careful. You need to regularly visit the doctor, get your test done and also treat all the problems related to cirrhosis of liver and try to find out what are the other complications of fatty liver disease you have or the complications of cirrhosis. Just to summarize, I just want to highlight if somebody has liver disease or fatty liver disease, there are few causes you need to maintain. One is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, alcohol, then chronic hepatitis B and C, then other causes. 
and prevention the prevention of fatty liver is very very important like i said lifestyle a very good diet and consult your doctor at regular intervals thank you